So this Sims 4 video was meant to be something different. I started off thinking that I was gonna be building the first thing that came up on Google for every room in the Sims 4, but halfway through I realized that that's not gonna work and I'll show you what I mean later in the video. So today we're gonna be building a house in the Sims 4 where we're gonna be comparing the first results we see on Google versus Pinterest. We'll be coming here on Pinterest and Google to search out things like home exterior, living room, kitchen, and the first thing that pops up is going to be what we're gonna build for that area of the house. I've done this before for just Pinterest and it did really well on my channel. I've also done this with Create a Sim, so if you guys want to see those videos, I will link those down below. But first, when I'm not playing The Sims 4, I love to unwind by playing Matchmasters, which is the sponsor of our video today. Matchmasters is a fun, easy to learn puzzle game that I love to play when I'm just relaxing on my phone, but I don't want to be on social media, which these days is happening more and more often. I can even play against my boyfriend when we're just hanging out together at night. If you're like me and you like to just chill out playing easy yet mentally stimulating games, Matchmasters is the game for you. I'm gonna show you some of the gameplay here so you can see what I'm talking about. I just play it right here on my phone. Oh my gosh, look at the cracks on there. So you can see there are tons of puzzles to try and you can even play against other players around the world online. But that's not all. Matchmasters is giving away 10 $200 Amazon gift cards. Download Matchmasters by clicking the link down in the description or by scanning the QR code on screen, select 50 stars and have a chance at winning one of those gift cards for yourself. By downloading Matchmasters from the link in the description, you are directly supporting my channel. So thank you so much to Matchmasters for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is come onto here on Google and we're gonna search up house exterior. I'm gonna go to images. And normally I like to skip these like sponsored posts here. So I'm gonna come down to this one, which is the first like result. And we have this very modern looking house. This is gonna be tricky. Okay, let's build this in The Sims 4. Okay, so we're gonna be building here in Windenburg and I'm gonna kind of approach this from like the left to the right. So I'm gonna start off with that left like garage portion. So with my room tool, I'm just gonna go ahead and build what I think is like looking like a garage and maybe just for like spacing purposes I'm gonna put on this garage door and actually that's gonna be pretty good. It kind of looks like this top part here overlaps a little bit. It comes out and over top of like the garage kind of like that but it looks like there's an even higher level like on that garage part to the left. So I'm gonna go in with a half wall probably gonna be using like a smaller version of it and I'm just gonna trace around the garage part here so that there's gonna be a little more elevation like on that part like that. Then slightly behind the one that we just placed, I'm gonna do another little block. And then it's almost like it's symmetrical on the other side, just with like the roofing is the only difference on the right. So I'm basically just gonna repeat what I just did. I'm gonna do another block of the same size right beside that one there and we'll do another one on the end. I don't know why I decided to go up first, but then down below it's like another little space here for the door. Maybe we'll put that in the middle between like where these two blocks end. So it's kind of like lined up like that. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste. We'll do the other room right beside it for the other door. And then the garage is gonna go all the way over to the right again. So with everything all broken down without like the details, the windows and everything, our shell is actually pretty simple. We do still need to add that little like black platform bit at the front. So I'm gonna take my platform tool down here. And if you see me looking over, I have like another monitor over here. So I'm kind of just trying to compare. We're gonna take the platform tool and basically just build out this way. And maybe I'll do like one tile over on each side. We're gonna click on the platform and raise it up maybe by like two or three ticks there. And for our platform paint, I find it really hard to find an all black just like plain swatch. Like we've got that one there, but it has the lip above and I don't really wanna put that there. But then when we go on to like these ones, all we have is gray. In like all of the swatches, it seems like we don't have anything like darker than this. <laughs> Nothing plain enough anyway. So what I'm gonna do instead is actually go back to the half wall tool and find something that's gonna match the level of my platform. Probably gonna have to do around like the third height. That's pretty level there. And then I'm just gonna trace along the platform that I just put. And that way I can put a wallpaper on the half wall instead of relying on like the paint that we have for platforms. We're still gonna have a little bit of a lip here. We're gonna have to put the black trim on top, but at least it's a little bit more accurate than what we had. We're gonna get that weird half gabled roof piece out of the way. So we're gonna use this here. And I think I'm gonna put that right about here. I'm 
just gonna bring it across and about to the middle. We're gonna lower it all the way down to like the angle that it looks like, probably like that. We're gonna put a very thick black trim on top. And for the rest of it, I think I'm still gonna just rely on half walls. So I'm just gonna trace around the top here with these. For my wallpaper base, I'm using just a plain white. So I'm gonna go in with this one here from the Oasis Courtyard and basically just putting that everywhere for now, including all of these little like half wall bits. We have to make sure we get those. But then for the wooden part, I'm thinking about using these here from Spa Day. We're gonna put that all over the roof, but then here I'm just gonna put it like halfway like that. Then over here, we actually have a white garage door and it looks like a dark gray. So I'm gonna use this one here from Base Game. I'm gonna put that over on this side and then it's probably the shadowing, but I think it goes under there like that too. So we're looking good for our shelves and our wallpaper. Let's start to add the details and the windows and doors. For the windows, I was looking at that top one to the left and I think we could get away with using maybe one of these here from Discovery University. It's a pretty big one there like that. Down below here, we can just use these ones here from Snowy Escape. Probably same as like at this roofing part here. There's a pretty similar base game window we could use here. I do wish the trim around the windows was a little bit thinner. I actually think it doesn't really need to be that thick in general. A lot of the custom content ones in The Sims 4 that you download are very thin and they look really nice and like a little bit more modern, which on that note, how do we feel about this style of house? I don't really know how to describe it and this might be kind of a weird take, but these like modern houses like that to me almost seem kind of dated. Is that weird to say? I've never really been a modern architecture lover. So maybe that's just me and I don't really know how else to explain it, but yeah, d does anyone else feel like this? We're gonna also add one of these here from City Living. I'm gonna put that right at the front to the left a little bit and the height isn't quite right if I use the big one there. So I'm gonna use this item in the medium height and I'm just gonna stack them up on top of each other using control nine. It's just like peeking over that platform a little bit. So just like that. And the only thing I need now is my doors. I feel like we could get away with using this one here, this like gray door from Get Famous. Wait, I'm just realizing there's two of them. We're gonna have to do a townhouse of some kind. Normally when I do townhouses, I like to do like a different theme on each side. So we might have to figure something out there. And the one thing that's bugging me is this column is supposed to be slightly higher and I can't get it to go up there. So this is really random, but I'm gonna use this wooden hospital cabinet in black. I'm gonna shrink it down to about this size and I'm gonna raise it up and kind of just like stack it on top of my column like it's supposed to be there. There, this is a makeshift column height adjuster. <laughs> All I really have to do now is like bring out the driveway. We can maybe connect it like through underneath that pillar there. We'll just like connect it like that. We'll add some bushes on here. They all look like kind of the same in size, but like a little bit smaller for some of them. Something like that. We need some trees. The trees are in like different sizes too a little bit. So maybe I'll do that one like shrunk down with maybe like this one also shrunk down a little bit. It's just a little baby tree. And then for the side of my driveway, I'm gonna use this tiny little half wall there. We'll put some white trim on it and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so with all the landscaping and everything added, this is what we got. This is pretty accurate in my opinion. Opinion. It looks very similar to the one from Google in the picture. I added little details here and there like lighting, mailboxes, and we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and say that this is gonna be a townhouse. So still gotta figure that out. I used a fence that was similar in the picture. This is the one from Snowy Escape, which I quite like. I don't really use that one all that often. So all I did was add a pool back here. We've got some like trees as decor, a little perfect patio set. I had to add two back doors. I also did like an interior layout, which I'll show you in a minute. And I added a barbecue with a sink over here, a trash can, some more trash cans over there for like the house. And this is what the back is looking like with all the windows and everything. We've got two side balconies over there. So we're gonna have a lot of space on the inside for these. On the inside, both of these are gonna be pretty symmetrical. So on each side, we've got our door there leading into a big open concept kitchen and living room area. We're gonna have a bathroom over in those corners. Then leading upstairs, we're gonna have our hallway area right here and each one is gonna have two bedrooms. So one bedroom here and one there for the right and then for the left they're like right there. And I think what we're gonna do for this for the townhouses I don't want to do two of them for Google because that's just gonna be repetitive and boring. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is Google on the left and Pinterest on the right. It's gonna be like a Google versus Pinterest build challenge in The Sims 4. I saw someone do this on TikTok I think so I'm gonna try and figure that out see if I can find it. But to the left let's start off with Google. I I'm gonna go and look up living room. Okay, so here on Google, let's look up living room. Going to images. Oh my gosh, 
all these like sponsored ones. Okay, let's do the first result here. So we've got this little seating area, very gray and neutral toned. We've got a fish back there. Is that like a piranha or something? This seems easy enough. It's actually gonna be nice because it's gonna go with our color scheme too. So for flooring, I'm gonna use, I think this one here and wallpaper actually just looks white. We have two doors here. So I need to keep that in mind, but we're gonna find a gray couch, which we're gonna have to put like two of them, preferably with pillows. I actually think I'm gonna use these here from Dream Home Decorator. They're the sectional pieces, but I'm gonna use like the corners and I'm just gonna kind of like build my own couch. So we're gonna put these together. It has the same wood trim on the bottom there and the same kind of colors. So I think this is gonna work. The only thing is we're gonna have to add our own pillows. When is The Sims going to add functional pillows that you can just like put on there like a shelf? If we had a kit entirely of just pillows that clip on there properly, I would buy in a heartbeat. So instead we're doing yield faithful pillow trick with the chairs. I'm gonna take this one here from high school years. And basically what you do is just like shrink it down, put it on there and the couch is still functional. It's just like hiding underneath it. So now we've got like <laughs> our makeshift pillows. I've seen people also do this with like the dine out chairs, the things we need to do in this game sometimes. We need like a simple rug like that. I need a chair. It kind of looks like it doesn't have any armrests. It looks just like this. We need a coffee table, something similar-ish to that shape. I don't want to use this one. It's obviously not round, but it does have a weird like bottom shape. Like this one kind of like has an, a unique shape to it. Or we could get away with this one here from Eco Lifestyle. It's a very weirdly shaped end table that we've got. So I think I'm going to use these ones here from the pastel pop kit. Just utilizing the spacing that I have with this. I need a big like tropical looking plant in the background. For the fish, I know Island Living has stuff like along those lines. Like we have this item here, but I'm just gonna have to like make it bigger. <laughs> and it's like the opposite way of what it's supposed to be. We literally just see like the fish tail. <laughs> but you know what? There we go. It's a fish. Okay, so here is our Google living room in The Sims 4. I had to like extend this wall all the way back here so that I could get into the room and show you, which by the way, a little hack here, that is how a lot of Sims influencers take their screenshots. You zoom out and the room is like pulled all the way back there so you can get like the camera in there. Sims photography is weird and a thing. <laughs> there we go. I added this picture in the background from base game that honestly looks pretty similar to the one in the picture. I also added this lamp here and we've got our fish. I think we should move straight into the Pinterest one and do the living room side by side so we can really compare. So coming on to Pinterest, this is my homepage here. Definitely gonna be a different vibe than Google, I think. So let's look up living room. Ooh, we get a very colorful one. See, this has already changed from the last time I've done this challenge. I really like this a lot. We've got like a pale pastel blue back there, pink couch. Pinterest knows me a lot better than Google, I think. Okay, so coming over to this side, I think I'm gonna use the same flooring, but in a darker brown like that. Spacing can be a little bit tricky in this challenge because your house on the outside has already been built according to one image and then that might not fit everything you need on the inside. To get everything that I want present in this living room, I think I'm gonna have to actually build it to the right a little bit. And we're gonna <laughs> break some rules here. These garage doors are great on the outside, but I don't wanna have to build a garage every single time that I place one because we don't even have cars to put them in in the first place. So I'm gonna make that into like a little secret room. Maybe I'll just leave it empty. You can put your own little thing in there if you want. It's basically just for design purposes in this build and I'm gonna put a wall there so that I can do what I want with this living room. For my bookshelf wall, I'm gonna use this wallpaper here from Spa Day in that like minty color. And then for the rest, it's gonna just be a white. I don't know if we're gonna be able to match that beautiful bluey color for a bookshelf. We do have this here from the pastel pop kit. We also have some of like these from high school years. I'm trying to find a way to make it look more square because we don't have that like archway happening. So maybe we won't do the pastel pop kit, but I have a bunch of these from high school years that I might try and like stack on top of each other. One hour later. Okay, this has taken way too long to figure out, but what I'm doing here is stacking these two different types of shelves from high school years on top of each other. So I've got this one here with this also like vintage decorative shelf. In the picture, we don't really have that like decorative part at the top, but I kind of don't hate it. I think once we fill it up with the clutter, it's gonna look a little bit better. I'm coming on the gallery here to my favorite gallery page, Holy Schmo Wow, and I knew that they would have some similar items that we can work with. I found a similar like face picture we can use. Three hours later. Okay, so we have our bookshelf there that I had to build manually. This took forever 
and I feel like it does look pretty cute. Obviously not exactly the same, but I do like how it turned out. We're gonna next need a fireplace, a pretty basic one in the picture. It might even have that like pastel blue, but I definitely don't think we're gonna find that. This house is really pretty because I think everything has that like bluey trim, even around the windows. There's a very small table over to the left of the fireplace. So I'm hoping now we don't have to worry about dining. There's a picture of birds above the fireplace, but I have a feeling that's actually a TV with like the frame, but I'm gonna put something similar, maybe just like that picture there. And for my couch, oh, I don't know if we're gonna find that pink. We have a couple different options for pink sectionals here. We've got this one from Dream Home Decorator, or it comes in like a more pale pink. I want that like bright pink. What I'm gonna do for my couch is actually go back to the good old days and make my own sectional. So basically this here is a couch from Discover University. I like the pink color. It's like kind of similar. And they also have these chairs here, which very easily connect onto the corners. It's not going to be an actual sectional, but your Sims will still be able to sit on like these chairs, for example. They'll be able to sit on the couch. So it's still gonna be functional. I might even just do it like the one way. And for my coffee table, I'm using this one here from the movie stuff pack. The one in the picture has like something funky going on there on the design. So I'm gonna use this. And there's a few different magazines on that table there. So this I think is going to be our living room. We're missing, of course, the windows there. So that's a little bit of a difference. And we had to do our makeshift bookshelf, but I think this turned out pretty cool. So just to compare the two here, I definitely think I like the Pinterest one a little bit better. It's interesting how that one's more colorful. This one on the right for Google is a little bit more neutral, but let's go back over here. We need to do our kitchen next. Back to Google, I'm looking up kitchen and the first one we get is this. Again, very neutral, very gray, probably very doable in The Sims 4. I'm gonna move our picture over to this wall just so we don't have it in the background there. And I'm actually gonna try and get away with doing this without covering up that garage door. It's a little squishy on the other side doing that. So I'm gonna try and leave it open, but we're gonna get our color filter on to gray and it has to have a white countertop. I'm gonna try and use these ones here from Cool Kitchen. They're not the same texture, but to get the white countertop, I think it's the only option. We need to do cabinets all the way along the top here. I actually think it wraps around a little bit too. So I'm gonna grab a corner piece and just bring it over that way. And since I don't have room in the corner for those shelving pieces, I think I'm just gonna put some up right here. Our oven looks like it's kind of in the middle here. So I'm gonna add that oven there from Snowy Escape. On top of there, they have like one of these casserole dish things. So I'm gonna put that right on top of the stove. I'm moving those shelves under there and I'm adding some clutter. There's maybe some like produce on the counter, a cutting board. I added an island in the middle and I need to find some gray like bar stools like that. Our sink is on the island there. I obviously can't get four of the bar stools in here. It's gonna be way too squishy. I'm gonna put my trash can over here under the stairs because that's the only place for it. And it looks like there's a little bit more produce on the counter there too. So there we go. That's my version of the Google kitchen. <laughs> it's actually funny because it matches the rest of the house here. Like we've got the gray going on and the neutral. And then over here we have more of like the gray kitchen. So now we can go back to Pinterest and see what we're gonna get for our kitchen there. Okay, so back to Pinterest. Let's look up kitchen. Oh my gosh, thankfully we get a very simple looking kitchen here. All we really see are the counters which have marble on the top, a very like neutral setting here. There is a dining area in the back there, which I think I'm gonna ignore because we already had it from the last picture. But all we have to find here are some white cabinets that look like that, hopefully. This is great because to be honest, I really don't have a whole lot of room to put anything here in the first place. And I do have these here from Perfect Patio. They have like a marble texture on top of it. So I'm actually gonna take these and put them probably all the way across this wall here. We're gonna have to leave a little spot for our fridge. So since that fridge is out of the picture, I'm gonna put just a white one over in that corner. We're not gonna have those big, beautiful windows right on top of here. So that's really gonna hinder our ability to do this. We could instead do cabinets with windows. Obviously not the same, but we're getting creative here. And they have these nice blinds on top of them. So I think I might use these ones or even like these ones here from base game. Then we need some flowers over in the corner. We need some fruit. And there's like a little hanging clock back there, which I think I can use that one. And my trash can, again, I'm putting by the stairs. The stairs today is just where the trash goes to die. But okay, this is our kitchen. Working with what we got, this one was definitely difficult, especially without the windows back there. But other than the random like blind right there, it does fit with the rest of it. Although Google is still looking much more cohesive over here. So I don't know, I was thinking team Pinterest, but now I'm kind of thinking team Google. For this floor, all we have to do left is the bathrooms. So let's go back to Google and figure out what we're gonna do there. So 
searching bathroom, we get a very gray and white bathroom. We've got some robes hanging up. We've got a bathtub and a shower. This is really pretty actually. Okay, so for my tile, I'm thinking about using something like this here from base game. I actually want to pull this back a little bit as long as it's not gonna mess with anything. I haven't really been adjusting the other shell to fit everything because it's gonna like cause too much damage on the structure. But if I bring just that out and match in that wall there, all I'm really extending is the balcony. For wallpaper, it almost has like a green to it. It's like a greenish gray, but it does have that trim down at the bottom there. Maybe this is more similar. I wish we could do half paint for the walls. Like I wish I could do half around the bottom here white. Maybe in The Sims 5 we'll have that ability. But okay, we're gonna do a toilet over to this side. I'm gonna try and cover up the harshness of the window there and I'm just gonna grab like a white curtain. This seems like it would be a lot easier to fit in here than I thought it would be because I can't place the shower and the toilet here because they're not gonna be functional. But we can go like that. We've got our robes hanging up there. We need a tiny little end table which looks like it could be like a laundry hamper or something. I'm gonna put that right there. We're gonna omit the bathtub. We'll get some little towels on there. There's like an orange sponge on top. And then for my sinks over here, it's like a double sink moment. The mirror looks almost exactly like in the shape of this one. So I'm gonna put these two there. There's like some lights in between. I think I'm gonna use these ones and shrink them from dine out. And we need to raise up some like blue flowers right on top of the sink. So I think I might use these ones, maybe in that color there. And we can't really see this side, but I'm gonna put some towels right there. And there we go. We've got our Google bathroom. This one actually turned out pretty cute in The Sims. I wish we could have had our bathtub there, but I think it's fine without it. Obviously we still have everything we need. Okay, let's move on to our Pinterest bathroom. So searching up bathroom, we get this one here, which again, we've got the bathtub there and the shower. I'm gonna try my best. And okay, we're automatically lucky because we have windows in this one and they're gonna match up to where the windows are in the picture. But same thing as last time, since I have some black windows, I'm gonna cover them up with some white curtains. I feel like I should be able to find a tile like this with like just the gray and the white. We do have this one, that's pretty similar. And for flooring, it's like a little tile. I might even use the same one that we had in the other one. Or we maybe even use that one there from high school years. Just something like geometric on the floor. And for our bathtub, we need just like a regular white one. Maybe with like a little bit of gold, we'll put that one there. Lighting is like a very similar chandelier to this one here from high school years. I don't have it in all gold, which is such a shame with this. There's like a lot of color on all the swatches, but we'll do bathtub there. I need my toilet. We'll put it over there by the door. And then here is where I can try and put my sinks. So we've got our sinks over there and we just need a mirror. I'm gonna put it right above my sinks there. It's a little bit more of like an orangey gold. I'm gonna raise up some flowers on here. I feel like we need better flowers in The Sims. A lot of the ones, especially from base game, look like they're in a bunch of urns. This one's actually pretty cute, but like the ones we used before and like this one here, like why do they look like that? <laughs> Same thing as the last one since this wall isn't actually gonna be visible in the picture. I'm gonna put some towels over there. And this is what our bathroom over here is looking like. We've got our sink right there. I ended up using the cottage living ones because they matched the gold that I put up. We've got our bathtub back there. This is gonna be fine. I know it looks a little weird, but your Sims get into the bathtub that way. This is too squishy. I think when we go upstairs, we're gonna open it up. Also for the bathrooms, I gotta go with Google. The Google one was way cuter. It worked out a lot better in The Sims 2. Google's winning for me today. Never thought I would say that. You know what I think we're gonna do up here instead? If we look up bedrooms on Google or Pinterest and they come up as like smaller bedrooms, then I'll keep it as the two bedroom thing. But if it ends up being a bigger bedroom, then I'm gonna open it up. So we don't have to deal with that like squishiness like we were having downstairs. It was fine until the kitchen and the bathrooms, but up here, we're gonna solve that problem. So let's go back to Google and figure out what we're gonna do for our first bedroom. And the first one we get is this one here, this like Ikea bedroom. This I definitely think I'll be able to fit into like a small bedroom. We don't really have a lot happening here. Got a bed, an end table, a dresser, everything very matchy matchy. And the second bedroom available on Google also looks very small and doable in the other room. So we'll be able to do two bedrooms, I think. Let's start off with this one. I'm learning that Google really loves gray. I'm gonna have it facing this way, I think. We need just a regular black and white bed, preferably with like a black frame and then white comforter. There's this one here from Snowy Escape. But then what if we cover up that headboard there with this here? This is a sign from Dine Out. I'm just gonna push the bed back into there so that it looks kind of like it's solid. This way we have that similar look, but we don't have the snowy 
we escape like bar kind of thing in the back. We need a very basic looking end table. I feel like I'm gonna find this stuff with like Discovery University. They have a lot of Ikea inspired things. This is the one that I was thinking or maybe even base game will have it. Yep, okay, we're gonna use that one there. That's pretty much exact. We'll just put that beside the bed. And then we also need a similar dresser, which maybe we'll actually put this this way. So we're gonna have the window where the dresser is. So it's gonna be the same thing, but like flipped. We have a circle light here on the ceiling. I'm gonna have to change the lighting there. We need maybe another robe hanging up over here. Two brown rugs on both sides of the bed. I'm using this one here size down from base game. There's a lot of base game in this bedroom. We have a tiny bit of clutter going on on the dresser over here. And over on this side, I feel like there's like a little alarm clock and some books. I feel like this is about it. We've got our dresser over there, the robe even. This feels like a very realistic bedroom. Like a lot of things matching. Ikea, you know, it just feels like a very realistic kind of in real life bedroom. I added these pictures here also from Holy Shmo Wow. They've got flowers on them. I feel like they actually look better than the ones in the picture. Actually, this one is slightly smaller than the other ones. So I just have to shrink that a little bit. On the other side, I haven't really put much, but I think what I'm gonna do is just put like a stand up mirror over here. Literally just something to like pull it all together and maybe a plan, maybe just a little something over in that corner. Okay, so cute Ikea, realistic looking bedroom. Let's do the other Google one, which I think I like a little bit better. It has the wood paneling on there. The paneling I'm gonna be using is from Eco Lifestyle and the rest of it is just gonna be white. Again, very white heavy on the wallpaper here today. We're gonna do a similar wood texture for the flooring. Then for the bed, I wonder if this is gonna be Eco Lifestyle all the way through. I think we could definitely get away with this one and I'm gonna push it all the way over to this side because it's a very narrow bedroom. Your Sims won't be able to get over to that side, but they will be able to scoot in. So two Sims will still be able to get in here. We're gonna put some lights right by the bed. I need to find two more black and white pictures. End tables, we can maybe do like these ones here. I'm gonna use the rug here from Snowy Escape beside the bed. And then on the end tables, it looks like there's just some flowers, again, some more books. I added some pictures above the bed and I'm actually just taking that same wall sign that I used from Dine Out in the other bedroom. And I'm just putting that all along the top here as if I'm making my own like black trim. There's a little bit of a black trim on the picture and I personally think that looks really cool. That's basically it for what the picture shows us. And I think on the other side, I'm gonna just add a dresser. Same thing as last time, just like filling in the space. So for this one, I think I'm gonna add this dresser here from a base game. We can maybe even add a TV over on this side, a stand-up mirror over in the corner, and we'll tie it together over here with a plant. So here is what our second bedroom turned out like on this side. I definitely prefer this bedroom over the other one, but they're very similar in a way still too. On this side, we've got our mirror, our dresser and plant. And then all I did over here in the hallway, I just brought it all together by adding a desk with a computer since we didn't have one downstairs. Keeping with like the modern sort of minimal theme with that bedroom over there. And out on the balcony, I also just kept it really simple. We've got our chairs over there. I added a telescope as like a skill item for outside. Maybe we'll just put a plant on that table there too. All right, so the Google side, the bedrooms and stuff, I really like. The downstairs, again, we got a little squishy over here with the kitchen, but I do like how the living room turned out. Our bathroom is really cute. Team Google so far, let's see what we've got for our bedrooms over here for Pinterest. Again, if it's gonna be a smaller one, we'll do two. A bigger one, we'll do one big bedroom. Okay, so searching bedroom and we get, we get that there, which is actually like a video and it kind of looks like a kid's room. Let's watch the video. In the video, you can see the bed. We've got some pictures over there, a dresser, a hamster maybe and some clothes. Okay, <laughs> I gotta watch this again, hold on. Desk, vanity, laptop, TV, little bed, some dressers, and a hamster, and some closets. Okay, the second one here on Pinterest looks like this. It's a little bit bigger, but I still think I'll be able to fit that in a regular bedroom. So let's start off with this one. I think I'm gonna put that one in this bedroom right here. The bedroom, again, is white, but this time we have like gray carpet on the ground. Okay, we need a bed, which is just like a white single bed, I think. So I'm gonna push that over against the wall here and I'm also gonna put up the TV right across from it. Near the bed, we have a collage of pictures, which I think I can find from high school years. Like maybe something there like that. And then they have those vines coming down from the ceiling. So I'm actually gonna put these up and like shrink them a little bit. And then on the bed, we have to put the little like stuffed animal thing, which I was thinking the high school years one, but we don't have it in pink, but we do have some pretty cute plushies here from Nifty Knitting. So I'm just gonna put that on the bed 
good. It looks like there's also some other ones, so maybe I'll just add like a couple more little cute things. And then coming to this side, we have like a desk slash vanity. Kind of just looks like something like that. And then there's one of those mirrors around it with the lights on it. We have this here from Get to Work. I don't know why they didn't include that as a mirror. It feels like it's meant to be like that. They just forgot to put the mirror in, but that's fine because inside there, we can try and cheat the system a little bit. This mirror here from Get Famous fits almost perfectly in there with it. And the nice thing about this light is you can move it around like pretty freely. So I'm just gonna put that on there. We're gonna have a bit of a design from the mirror underneath in there, which I actually don't mind. I think it looks kind of cute. It, I think we also have some of the vines around here too. This is definitely like a teen room. The vines above are definitely like trendy on TikTok and stuff. We're gonna do a laptop, a pink chair behind, and from high school years, I'm gonna put some of the makeup clutter on the desk like that. That's cute. Okay, so, so far we've got this area over here. We needed to have a dresser over here with like a hamster on it or something, which I might literally just put the hamster cage from My First Pet Stuff. But then underneath there, so that it looks more like the picture, we're gonna get again one of those Ikea dresser looking things from base game. I'm just gonna cover the bottom with that. So there we go. And then on the other side, I need another closet, which I think because of my window, I'm gonna try and do like a makeshift thing. So we'll get a mirror and put that right there. We'll do a dresser right there. And then on the side, I'm gonna put up some shelving and some more clutter. Okay, so here is our Pinterest bedroom number one. I actually think this is adorable. This is my favorite room so far. Definitely like giving teen room or maybe like an older kid's room, but I'm feeling maybe more like on the teen side. Over here, we have our closet area. Like look at all this clutter. That is exactly what my bedroom looked like when I was a kid. All those stuff everywhere, but like organized clutter, you know? We've got our two mirrors over here. They had two mirrors in the picture and there we go. That is our bedroom number one. So far, I like the Pinterest side better for bedrooms. Let's try and do the second one, which basically we've got our bed there, a big light hanging down, some chairs and a dresser. I feel like this side is giving like single mom, maybe moved out recently with their like teen daughter. Even the downstairs I feel like was very decorated in that way. On this side over here, we have just some gray chairs with like a plant next to it. I'm just gonna use those ones there from high school years. And then on this side, we have a really nice like mirrored dresser. I don't think we're gonna find anything with the mirror on it in The Sims. We do have this one though. It's just so big. I wish this one was smaller. Maybe we can settle for that one there. Also from high school years, we need a plant over in this corner. It looks like there's maybe a mirror above here with some clutter on it. And we need just like a plain beige-ish rug. I pulled this room out into the hallway a little bit more so that I had some more space to work with. And I feel like that's a lot better. And this is what our final Pinterest bedroom ended up looking like. I definitely prefer this one here and these bedrooms in general over the ones over here. This entire top floor for me turned out a lot better than the bottom floor though. I think the bedrooms both turned out really cute on this side. This is what I did for the balcony out here. I basically just added a yoga mat, again, like an extra thing to do, a lounger, a chair for seating. And in the hallway, I just did something similar. Not a lot of room up here. So I did the mirror, the chair. That's about it for that. I don't know, which side did you like better? I'm definitely torn here. I like both of them for different reasons, I think. Let me know which one you guys preferred. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave any video suggestions you have in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to Matchmasters for sponsoring this video. And again, you can download Matchmasters by clicking the link in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.